depression is like, it's like you're drowning. And, and at first you're, you're struggling and, and you're fighting because you don't want to lose yourself. Then you realize it, it all doesn't matter anymore. Because why be concerned with fighting when eventually we all end up six feet under? Kirby. Get up or you're going to be late for school. I'm up, I'm up. I'm just laying here. You uh, have your criminal law class today. Did you finish your assignment? Yes, Dad. I'm just trying to make sure you're keeping up to speed with the right courses, that's all. Your main classes are more important than your extracurriculars. Criminal law is an extracurricular, Dad. It doesn't count as one of my core classes. You know what I meant. Criminal law is what you're going to do with your life. It counts as a main course. No, it doesn't. <sighs> This again, Kirby. Psychology is not a good major for college. It's not good for a living. You think you know what's best for me? It's my life. You're not 18. I'm your father. And yes, I absolutely know what's best for you. No, you don't. The only thing you know about me is my birthday. The rest is what you want me to be. Go to school, Kirby. Ooh. Don't worry, Dad. I'll make sure Kirby gets to school okay. Thanks, Kelly. Maybe you can knock some sense into her? <laughs> Unlikely, but I will try. Come on, Curbs. have got to learn how to fake it. What are you talking about? I heard that whole conversation. You know you can't call that out like that. Just do what he says. It's so much easier than fighting with him. So I'm supposed to drop out of my psychology class and focus on criminal law just because he wants me to? When you say it like that, it sounds bad. Because it is it, bad, Kelly. It's not bad to make someone happy. What about me? What if I'm not happy? Kirby... Other kids would kill to be in your position. You have a nice life. You have a nice house. College is guaranteed for you. Our parents don't struggle. And you have parents that actually care about you. You should be happy. Other people have it so much worse than you do. You have to let her make her own choices or she's never going to learn. She can't make her own choices. She isn't capable. She's not like Kelly, Joanna. She's an entirely different person. Oh, finally. You've recognized she's a human being, Michael. I just want what's best for her. No, you want her to be just like Kelly. What's so wrong with that? You just said it. She's Kirby. She can't be Kelly. She never will be because they are two different people. You are killing her and you don't even care. Hayden, give me a hand. One moment, I almost found it. <gasps> Beautiful. Mm. It's like I thought it looks a little big. <sighs> what a shame. Uh, it would have looked perfect on me. What about... Here, Kirby, you try it on. It would have looked way better on me, but I bet if you lost a couple of pounds before prom, it might fit you. Yeah, you could try my mom's new juice cleanse. Or we could call Jenny Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Hayden, my shoes. One second.
Aren't you supposed to be going to get ready for homecoming with Nicole and a, 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 what's her name? Um, no, I'm, I'm not going. Why aren't you going? Because nobody asked me. I, I thought you were going with Nicole and that, that one girl. Well, they have dates, so I'd be a fifth wheel. Why are you complaining? I don't know, I guess, I guess I'm just upset. I don't have time for this, Kirby. I have other things to deal with besides your drama. Get out of my face. Kirby, get up. Get up. I'm awake. You feel like you're dead, as if there's this gaping hole in your chest and you can't fill it. It's the same constant question, why do I feel this way? Because everything's supposed to be fine, right? But but it's not, and, and you push it down because you aren't allowed to have feelings. Maybe you feel too deeply. Maybe you're overreacting. Then the main question becomes, why am I here? There isn't an answer. Why aren't you dressed yet? My dinner starts in 20 minutes. I'm not going. I don't feel very well. You don't feel warm, though. I don't think it's physical. Mental? That's just in your head, Kirby. It's just something people use as an excuse not to do things. And to get attention. You just have to choose to be happy. It's not that hard. Okay, I'll tell mom and dad you don't feel well. They'll understand that. Kirby, get down here this instant. What is it? What's going on? In the middle of dinner, which you couldn't be bothered to attend because you decided to be lazy, I get a call from your criminal law teacher. He tells me you've been skipping for the last week and a half. I pulled a lot of strings to get you in that class, and you want to blow it off and embarrass me like that? Dad, I didn't want to be in that class in the first place. <sighs> this again. Here we go. My dad's the worst for forcing me to take a class that's good for my future. That's not my future. You don't have a future, Kirby. You're not going to be a psychologist. You can't be a psychologist. You're not capable. You can't handle yourself. What makes you think you can handle another person's problems, huh? Kirby, you can't do it. It would be so much easier if you were just like your sister. You know, if you just wanted Kelly, why didn't you stop at her? Why'd you have another kid? All you do is talk like I'm a mistake and a regret. And not being alive would feel a lot better than how I feel right now. Kirby. I don't know where she is, Mom. I went to check on her. She's not in her room. She's nowhere in the house. She's been gone all night. I don't know what I'm gonna do. The cops can't even do anything until she's been gone for 48 hours. 
We are told that feelings are temporary. But they aren't. We can experience the same feeling over a long period of time, and we have a genre of feelings that repeat throughout our whole life. We tell people with mental illnesses it isn't real, that they're looking for attention. We aren't allowed to feel. But people only matter when they die. She was such a great person, I can't believe she felt that way, society is horrible. But we are society. We made it this way. We made it socially acceptable to mock people and to treat them like they aren't valid. It's okay to feel. It's okay to be sad. It's okay to be upset. It's okay to have emotions. We're human beings. Life hurts. You get knocked down, stomped on, and you get left alone. But you have to pick yourself up. You have to carry on. Life doesn't go as planned sometimes, but that doesn't mean you get to stop living. Thank you.